Hello, hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ and everyone, everyone watching this program. Welcome back. How is everybody doing? All right, all right. I hope everyone is doing great. And here I'm coming with another topic. False religions agree with each other. False religions agree with each other. What do I mean? I'm going to explain about it, but I want to thank you for, thank you very much for sharing, liking and subscribing. I just realized a lot of people are watching my program and also my, my brother, uh, Christian Princess uh, videos. Uh, you guys are liking, sharing and uh, commenting a lot. That is really great. In this way, we will debunk Islam, we'll destroy Islam, we'll show them that you know, uh, that, that the religion is nothing but a fabrication of a crazy man called Muhammad. So let's go to the point. False religions agree with each other. What do I mean? What are these pictures? The first one is the, um, the golden calf. The golden calf is found in the Bible. Uh, when the people of Israel, God took them out of Egypt. When they were in the way, they took their gold, whatever they have in the wilderness, and they ask uh, Aaron to make a golden calf. And they say, this is my God. This is my God. This is my God. They worship their golden calf. False Jewish people. Uh, false Jewish people. And the second one is, you know, that, that beautiful one of the daughters of Allah, the, which took the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to uh, Jerusalem uh, by night and then to the seven heaven on the fraction of minute in a one night to Jerusalem and to heaven while he was sleeping with his 11 wives and the girl the, the sex girl sex woman sex slaves he was sleeping there but she snatched him and took him to the seven heaven that's what he called them Gharanik that is in favor of in favor of his worshiping uh, them in the book and the and the and the uh, Quran 53 uh, verses 18 to 23 you can go and read it he just uh, you know magnified them glorified the doubters of Allah so that she came as a Burak he called her Burak there is no Burak unless he is the doubter of Allah and the Garanik the flying mighty flying and then he flew from uh, uh, his he was sleeping uh, from um, uh, Mecca to uh, uh, Jerusalem and back to the seventh heaven. That is that that is the overnight nightmare of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the third one is the doubters of Allah. The three doubters of Allah and their lion. The lion and their the three doubters of Allah, children of Allah, which the Arab people used to worship them. So this is the commonality of the religion. This is the commonality of a religion. Let's go and then say, uh, let's, 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 let's go to my point. Please listen, this Jewish, uh, rabbi, what he's saying, uh, I'm going to, uh, talk about it after that. Please listen carefully. Muslims are perfect monotheists. Muslims are perfect monotheists. Okay. They worship the same God. Like they do. worship the same God, Allah and the Elohim. <laughs> Oh, these Jewish people are, how crazy is it? They worship the same. Salami, Muslimai, Muslimi. Well, this could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple, or, uh, or even earlier. And if Islam's roots, if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call B'nai Noah, then for us, it is much older. This is the religion of Noah. This is the religion of Adam. Yeah, this is the religion of Noah and there, this is the religion of Adam. Adam has a religion. Look, Adam, Adam has a religion. Wow, this is the Jewish rabbi. He is the one who worshiped the golden calf, the golden calf. That is the same thing. In the Lord God, in the Bible, the Lord God said, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, that is in the waters under the earth. That is Exodus, the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 4. Ye shall make you no idols or graven image, neither near your upstanding uh, standing, uh, image, neither shall ye 
set, set up any image of a stone in your land to bow down unto it for I am the Lord your God do not do that do not do that that is in the book of Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1 lest you corrupt your service and make you graven image the similitude of any figure the likeness of uh, or uh, male or female you do not do that that's why all the Bible is you know against carving image and uh, you know, bowing down to it that is against everything look all this all this the true God the God of Israel he um, uh, you know he commanded us not to worship anything any picture or anything nothing nothing we don't but this these are the you know the the, the, the what, what what are the Muslims are believing let us go they are the religion look look this is a graven house a house of a law listen listen look look okay. one and then two going around this black stone is this a religion of God who who is this rabbi who is telling is that the religion of God he said stand up a graven image and go around it naked to the, that uh, seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times is that is that is that what our God told us to do so no no none none my friend no no but these are the um, you know let's listen let's listen from our dear aunt. um yeah so that's it look you say you sell whatever you have you sell your money you, you you get all your money and you travel there and make and walk around this black stone this uh kaaba rather the kaaba seven times you went across all that you spent your money to worship this black stone the or common the religion of uh, uh, noah the religion of this is a idiot but please listen 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 this is our dear brother rob christians he explains to us how about how it is the religion of allah is now let us see and understand what the original people of mecca used to do to the black stone what is the original meaning of hajj al-hajj historical references explain that the original meaning of hajj or al-hajj is hak al-hak meaning rubbing rubbing against the black stone but rubbing what exactly now let us see here is for example a reference from an islamic source here is a book called al mil al nahl by abi al qasim al sharastani on page 247 it says in Hajj or during Hajj, a strange ritual was practiced, rubbing of private parts against the black stone. So Muhammad, his tribe, his family, the Quraysh, the Sahaba, they used to rub their private parts against the black stone. They used to have sexual activities around the Kaaba, rubbing their private parts on the black stone if they wish to have healthy children, healthy seed. That's what the Quraysh used to do. That's what the Sahaba used to do. That's what Muhammad and his family used to do. It's in front of you. The Muslimin, are you still not convinced yet? So basically, um, what I was thinking of is, um, oh, I can't, I can't believe you've done this. Really? What about the following hadith? A Sahih hadith from Sunan al Nisa'i. So, you guys, you guys, do you agree with this, uh, uh, with uh, uh, with this Jewish, Jewish rabbi? The Jewish rabbi, let's listen to him. Let us, the Jewish rabbi, explain to us. Uh, okay. so Muslims are perfect monotheists. They are perfect monotheists. They worship the same God that we the Jews. Salami, Muslimai, Muslimi. This could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple or, uh, or even earlier. And if Islam's roots, if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call B'nai Noah. When, can you ask yourself, how oh, this, this man is crazy. Can you ask him, yourself, when did Islam begin? When did Islam begin? Please comment and give us your answer. Muslims and non-Muslims. When did Islam begin? 
But this man is telling us something different. This could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple, or, uh, or even earlier. And if Islam's roots, if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call B'nai Noah, then for us, it is much older. This is the religion of Noah. This is the religion of Adam himself. Yeah, yeah, shocking. Yeah, they, they, they got this. <laughs> they say, shocking. Let's listen. Is that the religion of Allah? Really? Is that the religion of Allah, the beautiful religion? Wow! Hadith number 2805. Again, Sahih Hadith from Sunan al-Nisa'i, Hadith number 2805. Let us read it together. It was narrated that Jabir said, We, the companions of the Prophet, entered the Haram for Hajj only and nothing else. We came to Mecca on the morning of the 4th of Dhul Hujjah and the Prophet commanded us, Exit Ihram and make it Umrah. He heard that we were saying, when there are only five days between us and Arafat, he commands us to exit Ihram and we will go out to Mina with our penises dripping semen. Ah, is that the religion of <laughs> the Jews? Is this the religion of Noah? Is this the religion of... <laughs> oh, come on. With our penises dripping semen. Are you now finally convinced that Islam is nothing but an evil cult? A sexual cult, a pagan cult of robbing private parts against the black stone. The early Quraysh, Muhammad himself and his Sahaba, they used to go perform Hajj, circling the Kaaba, having sex with their wives, with their private parts, dripping semen, robbing their private parts against the black stone. This is where the word Hajj comes from. Ihtikag, Hak as we showed you earlier. Still not convinced yet? Well, here's a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 45, 18. It says, the verse of Hajj al tamattu mut'ah during Hajj, was revealed in Allah's book, the Quran. So we performed it, the Sahaba performed it, with Muhammad, Allah's apostle. And nothing was revealed in Quran to make it illegal. Nor did he, the Prophet, prohibit it till he died. But the man who regarded it illegal, just expressed what his own mind suggested. So later, it was uh, Caliph Umar who abrogated the mut'ah of Muhammad and his Allah. Muhammad practiced mut'ah, the Sahaba practiced mut'ah during Hajj. The early Muslims performed sexual rituals, robbing their private parts on the black stone, against the black stone. Are you still trying to convince everybody that Islam is not a sex cult, a pagan sex cult? Well, it is your uh, funeral. It's your yeah, yeah. That's uh, this is Islam. That's the beauty of Islam. So this is a religion. These religions they agree each other, and the Jewish is telling us that that's the best religion. The the more the the earliest religion of mankind, the religion of Adam. <laughs> oh, Adam, Adam. Well, this is crazy, man. Share, please, like, and <laughs> expose these people. Whoever, you know, uh, says something about Islam that is, which is not true, will expose them. Will dismantle this cult, sexual cult, this wicked cult, this evil cult, Islam. Will destroy it. We are working hard and the day comes, one day it will be smashed and broken in pieces into the ground. Ellen will trash upon it and will trample and, and set free all the Muslims. Yes, we'll set them free. Uh, how do we do that? Please share, like, and comment, and subscribe, and invite others. Let other people know, know that, that Islam is nothing but a false fabrication of Muhammad. A fabricated by Muhammad, evil man, wicked man. He, the one who married at the age of 54, six-year-old baby girl. And the also who took his son's wife and married her. No shame, no shame. A shameless prophet. The shameless prophet. Please share, like, subscribe. Until we meet again, may the Lord, the blessed Lord, the righteous Lord, the pure Lord, Jesus Christ, bless you and bring you to the light, his light and the light of his kingdom. May the Lord literally bless you. Bye-bye.